Well, welcome back, part. <coughs> well, welcome back, part two. Welcome back, part two. So, well, I must get more organised and more advantageous. Right, so we're going night time. Okay. So we're going night time because it is night time. Okay. Now, I would have done this, upload this video earlier. I had to explain a few things to my aunt Sal. She said, you can't be doing the next video because you sound extremely smashed. I am cunted, yeah? I am slashed. Now, on a zero to 10, we're looking about a mild eight. Right, so we're picking up now. I've even lost my lighter. I can't find my own lighter and, and I'm actually too pissed to even find it. So anyway, but thank fuck for that because the Lisa meets are done. Now, uh, before we got completely wasted, I have come out of a Zoom meeting, yeah, with uh, Mitchies. Uh, we'll go on about that in a little bit. But first of all, we need to do some serious fucking shit, right? So, okay, before we get carried away, we're going to do the leak. So, we've got Mr. Leak here. Now, Mr. Leak is a leaky leak, yeah? We all have to respect a bit of leakage. Now, I want about as much as I can. Now, when you look at a leak, this is a, an older leak, but it's still fine. You want to start, as it starts to get near to about here, this is where you want to cut it off, right? Now, the rest of the leak, if you want to keep that, yeah, that is up to you. You want to go as far to the white as you possibly can. Right, now, I'm not, but I want to just do my leaks in sort of like round scallions, yeah. So, and the reason for that is, is because this leak is going to have to contend with a lot of cooking. Now, I don't know whether this cooking will be done tonight or tomorrow, or who knows, right? But I know that I've had literally a lot of updates that have been going on. Um, we've had emails, and we I literally, like I said, I've come out of a Zoom meeting. Um, I'm getting a little bit concerned about Double Agent 117, yeah? I'm getting a bit concerned, so I'll state that as a fact, and now we're going to start to get on with the actual cook. So, now, we've had all them bits and bobs that have been fried off in this pan, uh, uh, we're talking meat-wise, we're not going to do anything with that, we want to incorporate that into this process, right? So this is why we're now whacking this up to uh, a super duper fry because I need to get some colour on these leaks, right? So there they go. Now it doesn't really matter if you do them like this or if you cut them in half ways or whatever. The only thing that matters is get them done. Now there's a lot, there's a reason why, yeah? A lot of people get a bit mistaken on, especially on onions, right? Now you've got to realise that with an onion, right, it does pack a lot of punch, right? But, the problem is, is they contain so much water, is they dissolve into fuck all, right? But I'm going to add a little bit of oil onto this, just a little bit, only a touch though. And the reason why I'm adding oil is because if it's left to the butter and the fats alone. So where I want to get these leeks up to and the onions, it's going to be too much. Alright. So we're now we're getting a bit food. So right, same with the onion, red onions. I just want, I just want slices. I'm not going to sod about too much because. And, and don't make them too, like, you got to remember, this is going to be cooking off in a casserole, in a casserole dish for probably hours, right? And it'll be left overnight to cool down, and then it'll be cooked and whatever. So you want to make 
any onions that you put into this, like of a large extent, right? We're not talking tiny onions, right? Okay. It doesn't really matter, don't worry about like never get can too hang on a second. Yeah, never get like over too concerned about oh have I chopped my onions fine enough. It all really depends on what you're doing, right? It really does. Like for average cooking, you just wanna you've got to, depending on what you're cooking. And if you're cooking over a longer period of time, you want to make sure that there's, you want to make sure, especially on what you're cooking, say it's a stew, big and chunky is always better, right? But this is a cobbler, right? Okay. So I don't know if I pronounced that wrong. Actually, Lieutenant Plowski uh, picked me up on my pronouncing of it. Um, it's, it's a cobble. It's a cobble. That's it, it's a co cobble, right? So what that basically means, the reason why that's slightly different towards a stew is because you build this up in layers. So you cook these individual ingredients to their potential first before whacking in the stew. Where with a stew, you would brand the meat off, you'd make your gravy or whatever you want to do with your stock or whatever, and then you chuck the veg in, Pour that stock on top. In goes the oven. Maybe some dumplings if you if you're lucky. Uh, and uh, I prefer my dumplings if they're going to go in the stew to be slightly sitting above the stew, so they get a bit of colouring on top. So we've got a bit of crunchiness, a bit of bit of roastiness in them dumplings, yeah. So and that's it. But with a cob a uh, cobbler, right? Or I'm gonna I'm, I'm bloated to know cash on this one. Right? But on, uh, on that Irish dish, right, we're going to call it that Irish dish, right? Right, we we get these up to speed. Right, so I'm now starting to see some uh, flakerage on the um, on the red onion. It's not flakerage, but I'm now starting to see them, right, because I'm watching them now. And I'm now starting to see... They start to soften slightly, right? So as soon as we get that, that is when it's time for go, 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 white onion. Now the reason why I wanted to do the red onion first is for a specific reason. Now the red onion holds a little bit more sweetness, okay? Now I want them that sweetness to be able to come out and portray into that pan before the white onions are going to get to get, are going to get to play their act, right? Because the white onions, right, play a different role, okay? So, let's got the leak in now, right? We've got a little bit of leak in now. Right, this is where we're going to season it a bit. So we've got a little bit of white pepper, a little bit of table salt, spin that round. I just want to start to let them let them flavours sing their song, right? That's what we want. We want songage, right, from this dish. This is a dish about songage, yeah? Right, okay. White onion, exactly the same. I want rings, okay? Now, we don't have to go too chunky. But it's entirely up to you how you want to do it, right? Now I'm going to break them up. So I'm just breaking up onion now. I'm just, I'm just flexing my onion muscle, right? Now a lot of people are going to be saying, well hang on a minute, right? Surely, I shit you not, right? They're putting another white onion as well, right? So I want this dish to be very oniony. This onion-based dish. I know we've got carrot. I know we've got carrot, and carrot 
is going to be a special a special pacifier in this dish, alright? And the reason why that is, is because carrot is going to bring along a completely different family of ingredients, yeah. So anyway, so I want this um, dish to be full of oniony flavour, yeah. It's an Irish dish, but we're going to put a little bit of an English take on it with our plum tomatoes, right. same as before, okay. Now, a lot of people are going to be saying, well you've got a lot of garlic sitting out there, yeah? What's happening with that? Well, I will tell you what's happening with that in a second. Let's sort this out first. Okay. Right, so I've had no problems doing them onions at all. So we're going to let them sweat down, right, all of them now, and the leek. Okie dokie. So, we've done them big chunky, we've done them big chunky, and that's for a reason. Like I said, it's going to take ages for them to look down, alright. Now, garlic, okay. Now I want a bit of purple garlic, so this is the garlic that looks more like this and the reason why that is is because it just gives, it gives everything more flavour, alright? So this is why we're going to do this, alright? So we're going to take out a little knife and we're going to cut the garlic. Now, um, like I said earlier, we had a... Um, a zoo, I've just come out of a Zoom meeting with the lower echelons of Michelin and uh, apparently um, Double Agent 117 has set out on his journey uh, he's on his little tricycle yeah, he's on his little tricycle uh, he's about 35 miles in and uh, I did say, didn't I, I did say that one of these hotels uh, along his route but I just got the mileage wrong, right? He's actually in the hotel. And the hotel is, I want you one more long time, okay? Now, I reckon there could be an issue, right? So, we don't know what's happened. All we've got is reports from NASA, who's relayed that to me from Michelin, uh, so the, the upper levels are mixed in, have got no idea what's going on at all at the moment. And we've seen him entering the vicinity. He's been in there for the last half an hour, right? Well, I'm sliced up garlic and I'm doing it quite chunky, right? I'm doing it, gonna, I'm going to be doing it. You want to be doing this. These are dishes that you want to do chunky, right? There's no messing about on these dishes. If you're going to put in something, you put it in chunky and you go balls out, right? Okay. Right, so these basically, um, these special hotels that um, are uh, a law with um, <coughs> lots of um, activity uh, on a very um, uh, sort of like a shaggy sort of situation. Um, yeah. He's been captured going in one, isn't he? The dirty bastard, 68 years old, and he's still fucking roasting. I'm not surprised, really. Um, yeah, so he's been caught going into, uh, I don't know what the hotel is called. Well, I know what the hotel is called. It's called, uh, uh, I, sh I, I, I fucking long bang you fucking Bangkok style, whatever. Right, so who knows, this one, I've done a bit of research, I've been, well I haven't done research obviously, uh, but bitching, the lower echelons of bitching have done some research on this hotel, and there's uh, all sorts of fucking shit going on, we've got fucking bisexuals, lesbians, fucking gays, everything, gangbangs, the fucking lot, he's probably having the time of his life. So anyway, so in the Zoom meeting, Mitchell said to me, did you want to do anything about this? And I said, well, look, at the end of the day, you know, he's 68 years old. Let him have the time of his life. 
if he wants to say in there, actually I said to Michelin, would you be able to pump some resources into his account? Because all oh, don't forget, oh that's another thing I haven't mentioned. All these couriers and agents do have a special account of funds from Michelin themselves. Not the upper level, but the lower Michelin's, right? Who are sort of like a background group of the Michelin's. And uh, anyway, I've told you even that actually, that's a little secret that's just sticked out. Uh, yeah, um, I will admit this, right, there is a, a difference between the lower echelons of Michi and the actual top, 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 top level 68 Michelin's of Michi, right? There's differences. But we haven't said anything about that because we don't need to so right so anyway so what we're going to do now right that's the onion right that's the onion nicely nicely fried off i'm going to whack this up a bit okay. yeah so yeah so he's been seen going in now <coughs> it's not a lot i can say right the oven is having a moment Right, the oven's having a, a, a massive Christine. Right, I'll wax on full back. Right, okay, so what I want to start to do now is I need to start to get the casserole dish ready, right? Okay, dokie. So we've got the casserole dish, that's coming out. So I now need to start to prep the carrot, right? So, um, like I said, um, you know, all I've got is pictures of the uh, facility. His little uh, si uh, tricycle is parked outside. He's been in there as we speak for the last eight hours. Right? He's been in there for eight, eight hours. I mean, God, he must be really jamming in some. He must be absolutely, his todger must be red fucking raw, I tell ya. So, I don't know what, I mean, I've said to Mitchie, well, you know, is there any way of contacting him and sending him to, like, try and sort it out? And they've just said, well, it's not really possible. But like, all we can do, all we can, he's, he's been given instructions, right? His next rendezvous point is about another, like, 25 miles away. So, he's been given instructions, right? Okay. So, he's been given instructions, so his next rendezvous point is, like, fucking miles away. And I'm like, well, you know, I mean, I do think it's quite a serious situation that he's, like, skiving, basically, off on a mission. And don't forget, he's supposed to be the boss, right? of double agent 114 i mean one of the historical um persons to ever have been involved in this situation double agent 114 was a fucking legend right so i'm i said to him well i'm not really happy about, about this really i want him to be carrying out his duties and not banging hoes in a prostitute hooker shop. So, I don't know what to say. I'm really upset. Now, they've got back to me and they have said that they have sent out, right, a special request. Now, apparently, all the bitches do have a, um, a pager. They've even got a mobile phone, they've got a pager, right? So they've got a pager and they've sent out an urgent request Two double agent, one seventeen, who should know better, right? Who should know a lot better to um to uh, stop banging the prostitutes in the uh, hotel and to carry on uh, his duties. So I don't know what to say. So oh, what can you do? Right. So now I'm gonna put these onions. And leeks, we're going to take these out now. These are going to be nicely cooked enough. 
Okay, they're going to be nicely cooked enough. Right, they're going to be lovely and lush. So we need to show you people how to do it. Right. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, no, that can be cooked out a lot more, but I don't want it to. Right. And there's a reason for that. Everyone is going, what is he doing? He's being spicy. I know, I know. He's, and, I, and I'm actually smashed as well, so don't forget it. But I am pretty fucking pissed at me, bro. So, right, okay, let's do that. Let's wait that up. I love it. I actually love doing these videos. You know, I get loads of enjoyment of uh, communicating to all my, all my rank members. And all my gang members and my toast watchers and all that stuff. Right, okay, so that's the onions all nicely done. Yeah. Okay, okay. Right, carrot time. So I want them in now. I just want carrots, that's all I want now at the moment. More butter. Okay. Right, so we haven't done too many carrots. I don't want right with carrots, they are a bit of a specialization situation, right? We don't want we don't want too many, right? Otherwise, the dish will be overloaded with carrot. And carrot, I know a lot of people say, oh, fucking hell, carrot. I'll tell you, this, carrots are quite a special ingredient, actually, isn't it, you know, that I've noticed. It's one of them ingredients that you either notice it's not there, and when there's too much of it, it's overloaded. So it's quite a, it's quite a special chat. Right, now with this carrot, I'm going to put in a little tiny bit of fresh thyme. Let's chuck it in. A little bit of rosemary. Shut that in as well. So all them flavours are really hitting out there. That is hardcore. So with garlic, there's going to be a couple of things going in with this. So we're going to go for garlic, Pelosi. So Pelosi is now happy. So Lieutenant Pelosi is now having an orgasm. Right, and a chili. Yes, I know. Didn't see that one coming, did we? Right, chili. And that's gone there. Now that's all I want. I just want a roughage of chili edge, right? That's all we want. And there we go. And now there's going to be something else that's going in, right? Because I need to wipe this right up now. I want this on to maximum heat, right? Maximum heat, right? Move this over to one side out of the way so we don't need that just yet. Like I said, yeah, it's about cooking off the, all the individual ingredients. Right, now we're going to turn it back down. So we're playing with that heat, we're keeping that pan up and down, yeah. And now I'm going to put in a tiny little drizzle of butterscotch syrup and everyone now is losing their mind and everyone now is going what the fuck are you doing and now we're off the heat and that's going to infuse right now we need to really get this off the pan and into a bowl really swiftly, right? That butterscotch 
that's just gonna that's just gonna enrich them carrots, right? Okay. So I'm gonna turn everything off now. Not a lot of carrots, yeah, not a lot. Okay, so a little bit of uh, fresh rosemary. Bit of fresh thyme to this, I think that's needed. Go. So, all the other ingredients now have to start being cut, brought out. All right. There we go. So, that is the situation. And that is the final outcomings. Yeah, or not the final. Because obviously we have to cook this, right? Okay. We have to deliberate on our situation. Okay. Um, like I said, we've got issues with double agent 114 at the moment. Um, I'm still waiting for Mitchum to get back to me. Which I'm sure will happen. At the moment, we're just clearing down. This will not go to waste. Don't worry about this. There's awesomeness in that. Yeah. Um, we are going to deliberate now on how we go forth with this dish of amazement that will come. Yeah. That will come. We will soldier through. With my rank members, my two lieutenants, my Lieutenant Pelosi, a loyal soldier, a soldier, and a leader, my Lieutenant Sheep Unit, my laughs and joys, who's there to be, Johnny K, our head, our inspiration into our journey. Yeah, and then making sure things are fucking legit. Yeah, making sure things are legit. He's called he's Sergeant 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 Ronaldsworth, right? Keeping it all in tow. Yeah. So I'm going to call that a part two, and I'll see everyone in part three. I don't know how that part three is going to turn out. I reckon it's going to be amazing. And uh, I'll see you, uh, yeah, see you in part three. Oh, fucking leave, will you? Fucking hell. Take it easy.